Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kyodoka. I'm Ryusei. Today I'll introduce how to make dorayaki. Dorayaki is one of the most popular and famous Japanese traditional sweets. And this is my first promotion video. Today I'll introduce Pasobcha. Pasobcha is a Chinese and Japanese tea store in New York and they have so many kinds of tea. And today, I'll introduce Hojije. Hojije is one of the popular Japanese tea. The distinctive feature of Hojije is the roasting flavor. And the roasting adds gentle sweetness to Hojije. And Hojije contains almost no caffeine because Hojije is made from mainly stems. And stems contain almost no caffeine. This is also a good point. Hojije is great for relaxing in the evening. If you like tea and want to support my channel, please click the link of Pass of Chef. You can find it in my description. In the website, the explanation is written precisely. Thank you for listening. I hope this video will be interesting and informative for you. Yes, let's go! First of all, I'll make wrapping paste. I add wrapping to the boiling water. When I introduced how to cook the wrapping in this video, I said that I added the red beans in the cold water. This way is different from before way. In fact, there are some ways of cooking red bean paste. We can enjoy more strong flavor of red beans in this way. I keep the low heat and boiling the water gently like this. I boil the red beans until they become tender. 30 minutes later, the water evaporated and reduced. So I add the water. I turn up the heat. Once it boils again, I turn down the heat. I keep boiling it. 40 minutes later, I take up the red beans. I smash it. The red bean breaks so easily without any power. Good. I turn off the heat. And then I drain a sieve. I pour the water over the red bean to remove the astringency. Okay, the red beans were ready to simmer in syrup. I'll make syrup. I add 150 grams of water and add 55 grams of sugar. I turn on the heat. Once it boils, I start it to melt the sugar. When the sugar dissolves into the water, I add boiled red beans. I start it. I simmer it until it becomes ideal texture. I keep the syrup boiling over high heat. It makes the red bean paste smooth texture. I stop the heat before the red bean paste becomes thick. When I made ohagi, a bit of warm wrapping paste was ideal. But soft and moist wrapping paste is best for dorayaki. This point is really important. Okay, this is great. When the wrapping paste cools, it becomes firmer than now. Okay, I turn off the heat. This is perfect. I transfer it to a container. and cover it with wet cloth, not too dry. I let it cool. Next, I'll make the dough of dorayaki. These are ingredients, and this is a recipe. This is the water, I add mirin, and sake. And this is a baking soda. I add a little bit this mixture. Okay, I set it aside. Then I put a neck to the bowl. I beat it well. Okay, then I add sugar in three portions. The reason I do it is that I'd like to avoid them from separation. Nice. I add it again. 
I'm conscious of mixing them to melt the sugar into the egg. Okay, at last, I add all. I mix them well until the mixture becomes a bit white. Okay, then I add honey. Honey makes the dough fluffy and moisture. And honey adds nice flavor. Okay, I mix them. And then I strain the flour and into it. Straining lets the flour include the air. And the flour dissolves into the mixture well. Okay, I mix them from the center gently. And the outside. I mix them until they become smooth and shiny. Okay, at last, I add baking soda with the mixture. Nice, I mix them. Okay, I cover it with a plastic wrap. I let it stand for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, I add the remaining mixture. I mix them. This thickness is so good. Yes, let's bake it. I use a flat pan. This is a dough, and this is a paper salt oil and water. I preheat the pan over low heat. The temperature of the pan is quite important. I add the salt oil to the pan. Okay, and then I wipe off the salt oil with the kitchen paper. To bake the dough beautifully, this step is important. And then I check the temperature of the pan with water. This sound is the best. I clean the pan and I add the dough. I put the dough at the center to make the shape into the circle. Great! I bake it over low heat for about 90 to 120 seconds. The bubbles appear on the surface. This is a sign that we can turn over it. I use this spatula. I slide it below the dough and turn over it. Perfect. I bake the opposite side shorter time, about 30 to 40 seconds. Okay, done. It's baked beautifully. I transfer it on the makisu. One more. I put the oil again without washing the pan. Okay, I wipe a kitchen paper. Cleaning the pan is an essential work. I check the temperature. Nice. Please check it every time. I put the dough. I'm conscious of pouring the same amount of the dough every time. Nice. I bake it over low heat. Cleaning the spatula is also important work. Good. Almost. Okay, I turn over it. Nice. I bake it a short time. Great. I baked six pieces. Let's finish dorayaki. I take up a piece. I place wrapping paste on the center. Okay, I cover it. I put pressure on outer limb to stick to each other. Dorayaki is done. Please enjoy making and eating dorayaki at home. 
and then I'll prepare whole ginger. The smell is nutty and earthy. I add it to a Japanese traditional tea whirling, kyusu. Thanks for roasting, hojicha forgives very hot water. I pour 200 grams of hot water. I cover it with a lid and I leave it for 2 to 3 minutes. 3 minutes later, I pour hojicha to a cup. Nice, hojicha is ready. Then I'll cut dorayaki into half. The baked flavor of dorayaki harmonizes with the roasted flavor of hojicha. Beautiful. Please enjoy Japanese sweets with Japanese tea, hojicha. Thank you. Do you drink Japanese tea in your daily life? I'm Japanese, so I love Japanese tea very much. And this time, Pass of Jack gave me a chance to do new challenges. I'm very happy as a Japanese, they love Japanese tea, and I'm very glad that you watched my first promotion video to the end. I have to learn more and more. Thank you for watching to the end, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a nice day, see you later!